Nesri is a leafy vegetable that can be cultivated within three weeks before transplanting. And so this week on The Ghanaian Farmer, we bring you the basics on how to do your personal lectus nesri in the house. My name is Anyunam and welcome to The Ghanaian Farmer. Get interactive on our social media platform on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram and YouTube, The Ghanaian Farmer. Subscribe and tap on the notification so you get the notification of every episode we upload on uh, YouTube channel. I'm going for a quick bit. When I come back, Abna Brunya, a level 400 student studying agribusiness, joins me on set to tell me more about Lectus Nursery. Right, so it's another exciting week on the Ghanaian farmer. My name is Zenyunam, and this week it's this. the entire week or the entire episodes that you'll be watching for close to four weeks is that the student farmer edition and it's happening in Cape Coast specifically uh, uh, University of Cape Coast yes we are in UCC and so standing next to me is Abna Brenya she's a full-time farmer and a student but on campus because she's at level 400 she is expected to do a project so she's into vegetables carrots and lettuce but our focus today is going to be on lettuce nursery I want to do a one-on-one -on -one basics with you how to produce your own lectures nursery before transplanting and all thanks to abna she's going to take us through that so abna thanks for joining me thank you N N you are in level 400 yes what are you studying a uh, bachelor of science agribusiness excellent tell me about lectures nursery before i even go and buy my container containing the uh, nursery seedlings or the seedlings of the lectures seedlings sorry the seeds. Yes, the seeds. Okay. What do I do? Okay. So, um, even before you buy or purchase your seeds, mm -hmm. you have to prepare your nursery bed. Okay. So, in preparing your nursery bed, you have to ensure that you have a sandy, loamy soil. Okay. And you raise the bed. You, we have sunken bed and raised bed. So, for example, this is an example of a raised bed. Okay. You raise your bed. You till the soil, make sure you remove all stumps that may hinder the growth of the nursery. Before, after that, you add your manure, you do your manuring to the bed, and then you water. You water for about three days, leave it for like three days. Then from there, you start with your sowing of seed. You drill and you nest. Okay. Do we have varieties of lettuce? Yes. Okay, so which variety are you nursing here? So this one is the edding. Okay. Yes. With the edding, um, we choose edding because of some of its characteristics. So uh, susceptibility to certain diseases and pests. And then the weather. Yes. So mostly in Ghana, most of the people cultivate edding. Yeah. Except those that that's more of the foreign types, mm -hmm. that like the violets, lettuce mm -hmm. and the rest. I'm sure you will see it soon. Yes, but this is adding. Mm -hmm. This is what I... How much does a 500 grams container of lettuce seed sold for? Uh, it's sold for 75 cedis. 75 cedis? Yes. That's in the open market? Yes, in the open market. It's 75 cedis. Okay. I don't know of the other regions, mm -hmm. but for Cape Coast, mm -hmm. I know it's 75 cedis. 75 cedis. Yes. Okay, so how many uh, 500 grams fill this bed? Okay, so um, this is not even up to 500 grams of the seeds. Okay. You, when I cultivate, I sow the whole 500 grams. Mm -hmm. I'm sure I would have to cultivate it on Cover almost the, whole area. the same field, oh, okay. the, uh, the whole field. Okay. So this is just about um, two thirds mm -hmm. of the 500 grams. Oh, yes. Okay. All right. So the the seeds after three days of the bed raised and everything is done. Then you now start planting them, right? Yes. How long do you leave it on this bed for before transplanting? Okay, so after the sowing of the seeds, mm -hmm. when it germinates, mm -hmm. after germination, it takes um, two to three weeks, mm -hmm. depending on the practices you give to your crops. Okay. Practices, I mean the watering, the 
uh, picking of weeds mm. and then giving it care. Mm. So if you give it intense care, mm. by three weeks maximum, mm. your seedlings, so this is the seedlings mm -hmm. and the seed is the seed. Okay. Yeah. The seedlings should be ready for transplant. Mm. Yes. Okay. So two to three weeks maximum. Two to three weeks maximum, yeah. then you can transplant. Yes. Now, before, before transplanting, do you add any form of manure to the soil before even planting? So on the main bed, mm -hmm. because um, lettuce is very delicate, mm -hmm. And, you know, it's a leafy crop. We consume the leaves leaves okay. straight away. Yes. So you, we don't advise, it's not even advisable to add any form of chemical, mm. I mean the conventional fertilizers mm. to it. Mm. So what we do is on the main bed, this is the nursery bed, on the open field where you transplant, before a week before your transplant or two to, um, a week to two weeks before you do your transplant, planting you add your manure mm. and then stir the soil uh, rake it water for some time mm. and then by one week when almost when this is ready mm. you transplant to the open field mm. then from there the only thing you have to be doing on the open field mm. is give it water mm. uh, ensure that it's not ready mm. then you are good to go okay what is the distance between one i mean one row and the next so on this, it's about 0 0.5, okay. 0 0.2 to 0 0.5, okay. the distance in between uh, from one crop to the other, the lines. Do you count the quantity of seeds to drop in each row? No, we don't count. Um, car uh, little seeds, sorry, are very tiny. Okay. So what we do is you have to... Um, we call it drilling. Okay. You have to drill. Mm -hmm. So in yes. drilling, mm -hmm. you have to um, ensure that you drill lightly so okay. that a, a line does not take more than right. expected. Uh -huh. You see, the more the... So when we, you get here, you see that there are some spaces in between. Yes. And those ones, you can ensure that you, you will witness that the, the leaves look nicer than mm. the ones here that are cloudy yes these ones are cloudy okay but that those ones mm. were lightly mm. spread mm. so it's as in aeration mm. when i say aeration i mean air mm. to pass in between them mm. those ones that are more crowded mm. most of them those ones that did not germinate early will die okay yes what because of, of the heat what kind of weather is good for lettuce nursery and so, with lettuce, it's not so, so much lava of sun, okay. but uh, it doesn't also um, uh, require uh, cold weather mm. too much. So, in between, you should mm. be in between them. Mm. You are good to go. That is the more reason why you have to ensure regular watering. Mm. Yes, the right quantities okay. at a time you okay. see our weather that we have mm. is not very conducive. Mm. Mm. at what time am i supposed to water my lettuce when i'm nursing at the nursing stage so at the nursing stage in the um on the reel you should do at least two um no you should do two times a day okay so in the morning early morning and then later evening okay Yes, All right. two times, two times, mm -hmm. then till germination. Mm -hmm. So when it germinates, depending on the climatic conditions, mm -hmm. you see when we have like um, cloudy weather, the soil is a bit moist. Right. So it doesn't require too much of air, air right. water, yeah. sorry. So during those times, you can water once. Mm -hmm. But when the sun is very scorchy, mm -hmm. you do twice a day, okay. then you are good. But then, when you are almost close to transplanting, you should ensure reg uh, once a day. The reason being that it's called hardening off. Mm. So when you came up, remove the shade from it. I'm just hardening it off for the main field. Okay. Yes. So that when it gets to the main field, by then it has readjust itself to the conditions of the Already. main field. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right, so this is still Ghanaian farmer. My name is Senyonam, and my guest is a level 400 agribusiness student in the University of Cape Coast, Abena. She's taking us through the basics of nursing your own lettuce uh, uh, nursery before you even transplant to the main field for planting. So, Abna, uh, we are going for a quick breather. 
when we come back, I'm now tell us more about the advantages in the electos market, who your target uh, market are, I mean, people who buy from you, how much you're investing and how much you're expecting at the end of the day. And every other question that you need to know about Lexus Nelson, I'll bring you that info. This is Tal Ghanian from Get Interactive on our social media platform, Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, The Ghanian Farm. I'll be right back after this. Stay tuned. <music> Right, so thanks for joining us. You're still watching the Ghanaian Farmer on Joy Prime Television. And this program is proudly brought to you by Lizzie and Lee Tomato Mix. All my women, including the men out there, if you're in the market shopping for ingredients, I recommend you buy Lizzie. It contains vitamins. And of course, we are running a promo. We're giving cash prices. We're giving food stuff. And of course, there's some travel attached to it. So make sure you get your leap and Lizzie when you are out there. I'm still chit-chatting with Abna about the basics of nursing your little seed before you transplant. So Abna, now, after I have transplanted, Okay. Or let's talk about even before. Before transplanting, is there a likelihood of any infection that would worry the uh, the leaves that are sprinting up? Um, yes, there is likelihood, and then this happens especially when you uh, the conditions are not favorable, like too much water mm -hmm. in the soil, mm -hmm. and then. Um, um, basically, basically too much water or excess water, or when you leave it to drought, mm -hmm. you don't water. Mm -hmm. That one too can lead to some disease attacking mm -hmm. your um, crops. Mm -hmm. So you should ensure that you water evenly at the right quantities, mm -hmm. and also ensure that you do not leave it to drought. Mm -hmm. You leave the um, the soil to become very dry. Mm -hmm. You know it should be moist okay. at all time. Okay. Yeah. Now, now, whilst this is a project you are doing, I believe you don't pay for the land. No. But how much do you invest into, let's say, what you have done? How much did it take you? Okay, so um, with the letters, uh, it cost about thousand. Okay. That is an estimate okay. of the thousand. Right. So from the thousand, you get your seeds. Uh -huh. You get laborers to work on the land. Right prepare the beds, uh -huh. the nursery and even the main field mm. and then um, transportations in and out mm. uh, yes okay now after six weeks when you harvest that you know all matured lectures how much do you sell it for and who are your main targets who buy lectures from you okay so uh, I would want to I would want all of us to do an analysis okay so this is so the end is okay. a 50 meter bed. Right. Okay. So with a 50 meter bed, um, after six weeks of transplanting, mm -hmm. if you are selling to the market women, mm -hmm. they have a sack, a small sack mm -hmm. they used to measure. Mm -hmm. A full of that sack is 100 cities. For one sack? For one sack. Okay. And then with a 50 meter bed, you mm -hmm. can get at least eight of the sacks. Okay. So we are looking at 800. Good. And when you come to the corporate market, mm -hmm. the school uh, farm mm -hmm. buys from us as well, the students, the lecturers. So with the lecturers and the students, a kilo of the letters is five sodas. Mm -hmm. So with that, if you are selling to about 50 students mm -hmm. at a go mm -hmm. for tomorrow is Friday mm -hmm. and it's a marketing day okay. here. So if you are selling to 50, mm -hmm. then that means when you sell 500 grams mm -hmm. of each of the letters, mm -hmm. you'll be getting around 250 sodas mm -hmm. for the 500 grams. Okay. Yes. But in, is lettuce nursing and farming, is it profitable? Very profitable. So, um, you see, with the letters, mm -hmm. I would say that if I'm... Comparing lettuce mm. to carrots. Carrot. Let me do that comparison. Mm. So this lettuce bed will give you, I'm still using the market women. Yes. It will give you eight sacks of the bed, yes. which is 800 yes. sodas. This carrot, a kilo goes for eight sodas from the school farm. Mm. So let's assume you are getting 70 grams of carrots mm. from this mm. bed, the same 15 mm. liters. So the 70 by the 8 is around 
560 cities. Mm. That is within four months. Okay. No, three months, three sorry. Months. And this one is within six weeks. And so by that three weeks, by that three months, you have gotten maybe times three of, of this. this. I see. As the woman, the woman has done all her calculations and she knows what's happening. But now, how many times can I harvest my lettuce? Lettuce you harvest just once. Just once? Yes. Same as carrot? Yes. Okay. Okay. You harvest just now, once. when it comes to working, okay. I mean, let's say the agronomy practices to ensure I have a healthy, strong lettuce nursing before I even, you know, transplant it to the main seed. What are this? What are the daily tips you give me to do to ensure that I do, I get the expected yields that I'm expecting? Okay, so um, just like I mentioned before, mm -hmm. because you don't have to add chemicals and the rest mm -hmm. to lettuce to ensure good yield mm -hmm. you have to ensure regular washing mm -hmm. at the quantities it needs and then from the onset you have to introduce your manure mm -hmm. a, a well decomposed manure not just any manure at such all. as so a well decomposed manure is um, uh, that manure that has undergone broken process all the particles has broken down mm. into soil particles. Okay. It will look like soil. Right. Yes, we have some here okay. that we use. Mm. Then you use it. Mm. Then the watering. Mm. Then ensure that your field is not weedy. Mm. There shouldn't be too much weeds in the field. Mm. Yes. Mm. Then I think from there, mm -hmm. you are okay with mm. your yield. In a year, how many times can I nest lectures and even transplant in a year? In a year. So, um, if you are looking at the whole cultivation around mm -hmm. lettuce, mm -hmm. it's almost six weeks. Okay. okay. So, six weeks is one, a month and two weeks. Yes. Right. So, a month and two weeks are in a year. Ah. It will be around ten times. times. Okay. Sure. Am, I, am I advised to do my lettuce nursing on the same bed for the whole ten times you mentioned? I won't advise that. Why? You know, soil has its own components mm. and it's, it's made up of nutrients. Mm. So as time goes on, mm -hmm. these nutrients will be depleted. Okay. And this is a situation where we are not adding uh, conventional fertilizers mm. to it, where we can have the residue. Mm. But with this, we are using manure. And manure, it will get to a point, it will get depleted. Mm -hmm. So when you use it over and over and over again, it will get to a point, you nest your lettuce, all right? Mm -hmm. Give it the practices, but it won't yield as expected. Uh -huh. So it's best you rotate. Maybe in a year, you can have two different or three different fields. You do your nursery here for like three or four months, you move to the next one okay. to ensure that you get the you add the soil amendment which is the manure then it will help fasten your crops you see today i told you it's lettuce one on <laughs> <laughs> lettuce one on one you're still watching the Ghanaian farmer get interactive on our social media platform on instagram on youtube linked in the Ghanaian farmer and coming up is 60 seconds on our greek let's go have a look or let's go and read about what is trending in the agricultural space. When I come back, I'll be concluding it all with Abna on Lexus Nelson here on campus.
Right, so gone by was 60 seconds on our Greek. My name is Enyunam, and today our focus is on the basics that you need to know about Lectus Nursing here on campus with Abna. She's a level 400 student studying agribusiness in the University of Cape Coast. Abna, so the marketability of Lectus, you are lucky you sell to the uh, management and also the students on campus. Do you also sell to the market women at times? Yes, we do sell to them. That was the main reason why I even used the way we sell to them. They have the side that, yes, so we sell to the market women as well. Mm. They come from it fresh from the farm. Mm. So um, we do harvest when it's ready, mm. Tuesdays and Fridays. Mm. So early in the morning, we harvest for them. Mm. Then on Fridays, too, they come for it. Why did you settle on lettuce and carrots? Um, so I would um, generalize it to why vegetables. Mm. I, I, my, my interest for vegetables pushed me into cultivating vegetables. So I, there was this time when I came to campus, I used to buy vegetables a lot. Mm from the science market. So I went to the science market one day to buy vegetables. And I realized that these women sometimes spray, uh, is it repellent, mosquito ah. repellent on these vegetables. What? So <laughs> I was like, what is happening here? And then um, apart from that, I also realized that most of the vegetables that we buy from the market has a lot of residue, chemical residues Ooh. on it. So uh, we don't have cabbage here. I would have shown you how the residue look like. But when you buy cabbage and you look at it, if it has residue, you see a lot of white patches. Okay. It, it looks like a drawing, white patches on it. Okay. Yes. And most of these women, too, when the vegetables go bad, they still find a way to remove those ones that you see with your eyes that is bad and then sell it to us wow so from that i realized that no i'm very much conscious about about my health mm -hmm. and i eat mm -hmm. vegetables a lot. a lot so why then That's why looking beautiful. I, uh -huh. <laughs> thank you enter into vegetables nice. and and read why mm. they do that mm. yes okay. so that was what actually motivated me into vegetables okay. and i do lettuce because mm. lettuce is very i repeat any short time term. delicate Maturity. okay and it has short time but those that purchase my vegetables mm. will bear witness to the fact that lettuce my lettuce can stay in your fridge for, for how over long? a week okay. and you don't have any issue with it right. some complain that they buy lettuce and it's the next bitter, day, yes but ours don't have those things in there okay you taste our carrots and you compare to the market and it's totally different mm -hmm. you see these two men they are married people when we are going give them some okay <laughs> 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 all right what do you have to tell young people who are out there they don't have interest for agriculture the moment you mention agriculture they refer to you just left for the uneducated people yeah. in terms of profit you said it makes a lot of profit yeah. it is less stressful to cultivate uh, lettuce and also carrots what else do you have to tell the youngsters out there okay so what i would say first i have to um, emphatically state that mm. nothing on this earth is easy mm. If you don't have the passion, me, I won't encourage you to do it. Okay. Yes, because you are a lady. Mm -hmm. Look at my color. Yeah? This is beautiful color. Skin. <laughs> <laughs> Your color, uh -huh. everything. Mm. But when you are doing something and you have the passion mm. for it, you are fully committed. Mm. So farming, either vegetables, either plantations, whatsoever, is a profitable venture. Okay. Just ensure that mm -hmm. you have the passion for mm -hmm. it and you are ready to commit yourself to it. Full time. If you do it mm -hmm. and do it well, mm -hmm. I, trust me. You get the benefit. You get benefit. it. Yes. Okay. For, I would say that within my pairs, they, are, they have their own things that they do. But a lot of my lecturers see me as somebody that has money. Ah. But maybe I'm partner, I don't have. <laughs> right, but I'm told you have a farm back home. How yes. many, what are you cultivating? How many acres do you have? So, mm. on that farm, mm. um, mostly I do cabbage mm. and then 
Green pepper. Okay. Yes, it's about two acres of land. Okay. Yes. So who cares for it in your absence? I have workers that okay. work there. All right. So, Abna Brenya. Yeah. Oh Brenya. my goodness. She's a level 400 uh, agribusiness student on University of Cape Coast. And she's been doing this for how long? Three years. Three years. She's been cultivating carrots, lettuce, and other stuff back home is cabbage, green pepper. So it means that if the passion is not there, definitely the profit has kept her in business. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks for watching the Guardian from I Believe Now. You have all the tips when it comes to carrot nursery production lettuce. on your own. Lettuce, yes. I love color so much. <laughs> so lettuce nursery production before you even transplant. Maybe you don't even need to wear buy from Abna. You can do your own. Follow the process, the steps she has given you. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again next week with another student farmer. I told you, this is that the student farmer edition in Cape Coast.